Next one we can look at is now, so we took a look at the triangle. And um, so we recognize we have the height. And so if we have the height, let's maybe play around with some other. Um, we use the sine of a, because we had this height here. We use the sine of a because we could, right? Because we had h. But couldn't we also do the sine of c? Since we, couldn't we do a relationship of the sine of c since we know h as well? Yes? No, just to, just to write a relationship. Like in terms of green, not in the numbers. Forget about the black numbers for a second. Just use, the, just use your, the, the green letters. I have two right triangles, basically. Right? So since I have two right triangles, I can write a, relation, a trigonometric relationship for both of those triangles. For instance, the sine of A is equal to H over C, whereas the sine of C is equal to H over A. I'll make my C's really big, my little C's really small. But based on the information of that triangle, Ellie, does that make sense? I can create those two relationships. Right now, with, that, with this height, I can't, do a, I can't make a trigonometric relationship with B. Would you guys agree? Right? Now that comes into like another step, which we don't have time for today. But hopefully you guys can at least see with these two relationships here. Now, um, they both have an H in common. That's the only thing really they have in common, right? Because that's a capital A, which is an angle. That's a lowercase a, which is a side. So those aren't the same. So why don't we solve for H in both cases? So if I solve for h, I get h equals c times the sine of a. And here I get h is equal to, oops, h equal to a times the sine of big C. Well, guys, since they're both equal to h, can't we set them equal to each other? You can, right? So why don't we do that? Just to play around. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's just see what happens. And then, if I wanted to kind of maybe get rid of my, like, just get the signs equal to each other, I could divide by a C on both sides. And I could divide by an A on both sides. And when I do that, I get the sine of A over lowercase a equals the sine of C over lowercase c, which you guys can see is. Oh, that looks like a ratio that you put on the board as far as our notes, right? And again, it's only a little more steps to be able to figure out this B, okay? 